Do you know what's happening in our forests? The whole uh, forest cover uh, classified as other state forests will be gone, simply gone. New circular will definitely destroy almost like 700,000 hectares of lands in Sri Lanka, forest lands in Sri Lanka. Did you know that in 1881, Sri Lanka's forest cover was at 82%, but now it's dropped down to 17%. An integral part of this forest cover are other state forests. So the state forests that were not classified, that were not declared as a protected area under the uh, forest conservation ordinance are called other state forests. Due to the mismanagement of these forests by district divisional secretaries, Circular 5 2001 was introduced. Circular 5 of 2001 is the circular that basically transferred the powers of other state forests from divisional secretariats to the Department of Forest Conservation. Today, amidst exponential deforestation, Circular 5 2001 has been abolished. And they found that because of 5 2001 circular, they are not able to release those lands. And then they decided initially to completely cancel 5 2001 circular and get all the lands into the hands of the divisional secretary for any development activities, including chain of cultivation. But then the civil society opposed, the forest department, wildlife department officers also opposed. And because of that, they brought a new circular which is called 1 2020. The newly introduced cabinet circular MWFC 1 2020 again assigns district secretaries and divisional secretaries the power to utilize other state forests for economic and other productive uses. According to the government's point of view, this is carried out in order to eradicate rural poverty in Sri Lanka through the promotion of agriculture. The new circular mentions that any economic or productive activity should be carried out without harming environmental or wildlife resources. Nonetheless, some of the guidelines governing non-forest users are not clearly defined and remain vague, leaving room for unforeseen damages to our forests and wildlife. Furthermore, many thought leaders in forest conservation endorse the view that other state forests should be conserved and not be released for commercial purposes. There are several reasons for this. A significant percentage of Sri Lanka's biodiversity occur in other state forests and they connect forest reserves as well as national parks. So these forest lands are the habitats for many unknown species. They are the wild habitat, they are the habitats for elephants and they are the one bring the rain to us, they are the one protecting rivers and the, and the catchment areas and the reservoirs in this country and they are the one providing non-timber forest products to the people. And these are very well-developed habitats. Interference with and destruction of these lands will invariably negatively impact the biodiversity in our island. Uh, if we look at our elephants population and then we look at our the leopards and we look at uh, all these other important critical species, uh, wildlife, live on other state forests mostly uh, rather than these uh, protected areas because for them when they transit from one protected area to another protected area they go through the other state forests and also the microfauna the small fauna like if you look at uh, even the aquatic species um, you have various streams various um, water sources that are remaining intact in these other forest areas in addition to this due to their lack of expertise in the field Divisional and district secretaries lack the know-how on how to manage and conserve foreign lands. This is just the newest addition to a host of other conflicts between environmental preservation and development. In uh, the last year, that decided that the permit, transportation permit for these gravel, sand, metal and all that must be taken away, uh, removed completely. And that resulted in accelerated exploitation of mineral resources. That would mean that our mountains will be gone for metal mining, our rivers will be dredged for sand mining, soil excavation will mean that our mountains will be gone, all these mountains will be cut for soil and it is happening right now. And uh, the result is that uh, severe uh, threat of water scarcity. Then also, during the COVID time, government announced that we have to produce our own food in Sri Lanka. Suddenly, many of the local politicians, they decided to grab lands. This has happened in Apple Farm in Oralia, Kandasirunugama in Hataragama, in many other places. They started grabbing and the forest department and the wildlife department 
was able to reverse some of those decisions, but that destruction was enormous in, in some of those areas. This showcases the lack of an environmental impact assessment and showcases the political corruption that is still prevailing. This is a call to our civil society to be more proactive and informed about the policies surrounding the exploitation of our resources in order to preserve our environment.